13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. I'm Kalina Estrinos, and right now in your 13 Action News Update, big gaming wins for Nevada. The state taking in more than a billion dollars last month for the first time during the pandemic. The Nevada Gaming Control Board released new figures today. Casinos on the Strip took in more than $501 million in March. That's a 67% increase from last year. Downtown casinos coming away with $70 million. That's a 63% increase from the same time in 2020. Casinos will have to submit a formal request by today if they want to expand their capacity limits. Casinos still have to report to the Gaming Control Board for coronavirus restrictions. Properties must submit it no later than 5 p.m. Properties have to prove they've taken steps to vaccinate their workforce. You can now get a vaccine at a pop-up site in downtown Las Vegas. It's happening today. You can get a Moderna shot at the Mexican consulate that's over near Charleston and South 6th Street. The site will be open until 3.30 p.m. You can register for appointments now using the website on your screen. That's vax4nv.nv.gov. Pop-up site made possible by a partnership between the city of Las Vegas and the Southern Nevada Health District. Interesting weather forecast on this Tuesday, tracking a couple of spotty showers from north to south through Clark County uh, through the afternoon on into the early evening. Now temperatures quite cool today with a north breeze. Highs are limited to the upper 60s. Uh, the clouds will clear out. The wind will relax late tonight and we'll cool it down to the mid 50s. Another day with some north breezes on Wednesday, but clean is going to warm up quite a bit. 83 Wednesday, 89 Thursday, and we're still on track for near record high temperatures in the upper 90s Friday and Saturday. All right, Justin, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktmb.com and our free mobile app.